Steve, congratulations. Bonus point win. Top of the table. How did you assess the performance? Yeah, a lot of pleasing aspects. I think we could have been a little bit more ruthless. Um, if I'm brutally honest, I think there's still a couple of things I think we could have probably put the game um, to bed a little bit earlier. And in fairness to Connacht, they, you know them, even a 14-0, you feel they could probably score two tries in two minutes. Um, they're that type of team. But overall, the way I think the yellow card and then chasing down the bonus point in the last last minute is, is really pleasing for the group. That first half in particular, you seemed to come out with great intent to play. Was that something you discussed beforehand? No, I think it's something that we've discussed all season. I think it's a home, um, it's, it's a great pitch to play on and I think it's something that we, we're pretty comfortable. We've worked on our skills and it was something we've always got intent to play. Certain defences allow you to do that a little bit more than others. Um, so, yeah, it was something we were really positive and I think off some of the kickoffs we were pleasing. But again, I think we got into sort of the high end of the field and then I don't think we really sort of nailed it in, in that sort of end, uh, sort of back end 20 minutes of the first half. And how pleasing was some of the handling by, by the forwards in particular in that first half? Yeah, it's something we've really focused on. It's, it's really pleasing and it's something that in the summer we really wanted to make sure it's not just 11 players or the 15 are comfortable on the ball. It's something we've worked long and hard through the summer, trying to maintain through the season is making sure that a, a prop or a second row feels comfortable shifting the ball if that's the right option to do. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's pleasing to see some of that intent. Uh, you're top of the table now, there to be shot at. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, I'd rather be shot from up there than down where we were last year. So, it's, it's still like, it's still January. Um, it's pleasing to have a bonus point win, and we, we really did attack us as, as three games. I think the squad have come out really pleasing, and when we make changes, it doesn't seem to make that much of a difference. And the thing for me, I think there's a hell of a lot of growth still left in this group, and I think we can get tougher on ourselves to make sure we keep driving our standards and make sure we keep pushing on and not relaxing and thinking just because you're top of the table that everything's just going to fall into place. It just goes back to hard work, making sure our attention to the detail is spot on, and whoever steps into that jersey really does does the job the Osprey jersey deserves. You lost uh, Sam Davis today to a yellow card with the, the new protocol. How did you see that and how do you see the new protocol? I, I generally haven't seen the Sam Davis incident, but I thought John is, I think he's mature enough to make good decisions. I thought there's one earlier on with Connacht that he just gets on with the game. I think he's got a really appre a good appreciation for it and I think there is a danger that we fluster young referees just about directives. I think the referees have always refereed that area of the game pretty seamlessly. Player safety is, like everyone's saying, is ultimate paramount. But I think we're at the at the stage now of making it and an sort of referable for some referees. Marius, you look at last night, do you think a guy's gone low, made a good shot on the shoulder, and then how are you going to defend? And I think that's something we've got to look at. And I think for the referees, they've got a tough enough job as it is. But I think with someone like John, who is comfortable in his own skin, being around long enough that you've got every confidence that even with a directive, these referees will referee, referee it appropriately. And finally, we're at the end of the latest block of the Pro 12. You've got a month's break from the Pro 12 itself. Uh, where do you assess where you are now? Yeah, we're in a reasonable place. Um, it's something that we, I think it's, it's easy to turn around and start slapping yourself in the back, but that, that won't be this group. We've got to drive on. Um, we've got a job to finish in the Challenge Cup, got a home game against Lyon. Uh, the boys will have a couple of days off because, in fairness to the squad, they've worked tirelessly over Christmas. They've been in days after games recovering, getting their analysis done, and there's been no murmurs. It's just all about performance and making sure we're prepared. So it's something we definitely need to finish this off. Then we go into the Anglo-Welsh, where I think the young group have really sort of put some good performances in up the Blues. I thought they were really unlucky against Arlequin, so we definitely want to put performances in there. And then, takes us into a period where <clears throat> I'm sure that we're going to have the lion's share of, of the Welsh squad because um, I think our boys are really performing, putting their hands up. So we know that in the next um, sort of four or five games where we, where we haven't got those boys, um, whoever steps in is going to have to really step up to the plate because they're going to no doubt we'll be hit pretty hard. Well done. Thanks, mate. 34 points out of a possible 35 at home. That's a pretty useful springboard in the league, isn't it? Yes, yeah, pleasing. Um, obviously, we've got some real tough games to, to come. We've got all the uh, well, not, not all the Irish now. We've got Munster, we've got Glasgow, um, the Scottish team at home, and then we've got um, Leinster still to come, Ulster. So we know we've still got some real tough games, but I think the boys are really confident in what they're trying to do. Um, I think it's been 
I know there's um, there probably a lot said about the wins against the Scarlets. It wasn't the prettiest, and definitely the Dragons wasn't the prettiest. But I think there's a group that understands what it takes to win games, and I think those sort of tight affairs, and I think those games, as much as it wasn't pleasing on the eye, we pretty pleased how we adapted. And I think coming at home when you play the likes of Ulster, Leinster at home, you know those games ain't going to be potentially bonus point wins. Those are going to be tight affairs, and that's something that I think. Hopefully the last the last two games have really shown us that we need to sometimes win a little bit ugly too. Sam Baker was man of the match. He had a pretty difficult November, I'd say. How do you assess how he's come back from that? Yeah, I don't think it's a difficult November to be in around an international squad. I think it's it's always an amazing achievement being around that. He hasn't played the games he'd like to, but I think that goes back to the squad death Wales have got in the back row. But I think he's got a point of difference, and I think it's something that we feel. His strengths in around his ball carrying ability and making sure he, he can get the team going forward is really pleasing. I think his defence has really stepped up and it's just making sure that we keep on top of his conditioning and make sure he's got that ability to continue to do that work and not just one game. It's making sure we're nice and consistent with those type of performances. Steve, how did you assess Sam's performance at 10? It's his first game there since December 2. Yeah, I think there's, there's some really outstanding moments, there's some indifferent moments, but I think, like you said, he hasn't played there for four games. I think the last time he played there against Edinburgh, I thought he was really pleasing. Um, but I think it wasn't just Sam, I think there was a couple of things in round our team today we weren't quite spot on. There was a lot of amazing, uh, like outstanding movement from the boys, but I think we didn't finish things off. Um, so, yeah, pleasing Sam is just hitting his straps, and I go, no doubt, the, the, uh, his form will, will just keep growing. And that's not to say he had. Uh, a bad game today. I think Sam has done a really good job for us as 15. I think some of his movement is is outstanding, but that's part of everyone else around him has got to help him with that too. And what about Tipperick? In the last 10 minutes, he achieved a turnover with Lloyd Ashley and also a line of turnover as well. And he just kept going to the end. Yeah, I think he's, well, it's pretty easy to sit there and say he's, he's unbelievable in round. He's an amazing Osprey. He's, like you say, he can play in the backs, he does all the nitty gritty work. I think um, what was really pleasing today was a tackle contest, and I think tips to the forefront of that is the things that probably people don't see is his speed into making sure we secure that ball. I think he's driven there all week, which is an area I think we needed to improve on through the Dragons and Scarlets, was that speed of ball, and he's at the forefront of that. And the thing that I think us as Ospreys love about tips is. The unseen work he loves doing. It's not he's waiting on a wing or he's waiting for that spectacular moment. He just drives those little bits and pieces. And I think that's really great for our young Ospreys to see that he ain't searching for limelight, he ain't searching for those unbelievable moments. His bread and butter is the key detail and it's surprising what comes off the back of that. Next week is Europe. How will you approach selection? Yeah, we've no different. We'll be we'll be going as strong as we possibly can. Um, I think we've got the ability to move things around in certain positions, but it's a home game. Um, we've got a good record at home this season, and it's something that ultimately we, we we definitely need to win that game. And whoever comes in, I think we'll represent the shirt properly. I guess you were uh, a shade disappointed to concede a try at the end. There, eh? that's the first try you conceded in more than six hours. Yeah, it's it's disappointing. Um, yeah, it's. Start to start, it's pleasing. I thought our shape in general looked pretty good. Um, I thought we kept Cornet at bay, in fairness to them, they keep playing. But I thought majority of the time we held um, the field pretty well. I think early doors we were a little bit um, shoddy on one or two things. But the one thing about Cornet, they test it. And I think it was a really pleasing test. I think they test us differently to the Dragons and Scarlets. Would. The way they play the game is a real credit to them. And I thought. We managed for the majority of it, but like you say, when you play the likes of Cornet, you always feel if they get one try, they could get two in the space of, of two minutes. But it's something that's pleasing, it's disappointing to lose that record, but ultimately it, it is what it is. I'm not too bothered with the amount of minutes. It's ultimately we, the team needed uh, a win and, and a bonus point to go with it, so that pleases me. Um, so, yeah, the stats are, are the stats.